anything to eat? I am starving. Oh, mate. Look at this. This is fantastic. Do you want some? Ah, oh, well, your loss. Oh, what? What did you do that for? Hey, what? Oh. Oh, I've been to the loo and I haven't washed my hands. Oh, who cares? What? Do you want me to wash my hands or something? But why? Why do I have to wash my hands? You might have germs in your stomach. If you don't wash your hands, it will get into your tummy. So it won't get germs in your stomach. Because if you don't wash your hands, then your hands are to wait. The germs will go into your mouth. Before you, you have to wash your hands because you might have germs on them. It makes the food dirty. When you eat, you might get sick when you don't wash your hands. Because you have dirt on them. Hey, some good ideas there. But what if washing your hands is one of those myths, you know, like walking under a black cat and has no scientific basis whatsoever? Hmm? Huh? What about that? OK. Is that better? What? You want me to have a proper wash with soap and everything? Oh, man! But my hands aren't even looking dirty. They look clean. OK. You have it your way. I will go and wash my hands with warm water and soap Please. Oh, you know that age-old golden rule, always wash your hands before you eat? Well, shouldn't you be washing your hands after you eat? I mean, sometimes when you eat, you can make a real mess. Not that I ever eat like that, of course. Anyway, I think we need to have a look at a five-digit appendage, don't you? I mean a hand. A close-up look. Well, are you looking? Make yourself handy. What can you see? I can see some wrinkles and some lines and... Oh, what's that? Oh, no, it's only felt tip. Hmm, OK. I think we're going to have to track a pair of hands and see just what they get up to. Psst. Hey, don't look now, but my hands are asleep. Oi! I said, don't look now. Oh, you can't get good help these days. Look, while my hands are asleep, I've rigged up a handy cam. See? A handy cam. Get it? And it's going to follow my hands about when they're out touching things. Oh, hey, hey, they're waking up. Now, don't let them know about this. They know nothing, OK? Just like normal. Ha, oh, so did you see the game? It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, great game. Love the footy action. Oh, hey, that was great. I don't think they noticed a thing. Whew. Oh, hang on. They're off. Oh, stand by for handy cam footage of my two handies. OK, here we are walking along the road. Oh, and look, some dogs. Oh, nice doggy. Hmm, what do we have here? Dog saliva. Whatever the dog has been rolling in. And dog fur. Mmm, great start to the day in the life of the hands. Where are we now? Oh, in the garden looking for worms. These hands love dirt and creepy crawly things. Oh, cool, a ball. Charming. Did you order fries to go with that ball and bird poop? Molly's cage needs a clean. The bedding's full of poos and wheeze. Molly. In you go. Oh, I see you've already been. Now where are they off to? Uh-oh. I don't think we need to follow them in there. Ooh, I've had about enough, I think. We only saw a small sample of the sorts of shenanigans that a pair of hands get up to in a day. But even then, they got covered in stuff. Let me show you on this handy little handometer. A nice, clean pair of hands starting out the day. Oh, but they touch a friendly neighbourhood pooch. They get a good dose of dirt in the garden. They partake in a little pet preparation and pick up some poos and wheeze. 
And as they go, they touch all sorts of things that hundreds of hands have touched before them, picking up all sorts of icky, sticky things. Add to that a few trips to the loo, and some other gross things, and by the end of the day, those hands are completely covered. In what, you ask? And that's a very good question. Actually, these things on your hands are so tiny, you can't see them with the naked eye. In fact, you can't see them with eyes that have clothes on. These tiny microscopic things are everywhere. They're alive, and some of them are extremely dangerous. Do you know what they are? They're germs. And you've got bacteria on your hands right now. Oh, you can't see them, but they're there, and that's okay, because we need some bacteria to keep us healthy. It's the others that you don't want, because they make you sick like these ones here. This cute looking little fella is actually a streptococcus bacteria and he can give you a really sore throat. Of course then there's this one which looks a bit like a worm and it is. It's the sort of bacteria that you get from pets. Oh and this one here is the sort that likes to hang out nose mucus like in a sneeze and it's just waiting to give you a cold. And there are thousands of these creepy critters waiting for a warm, wet, healthy body like yours. They're lurking just about everywhere you put your hands, but you have the power to stop them. All you need is one of these. The GB Blasterator uses the same sort of high-tech, state-of-the-art biotechnology that all good bathrooms use. Oh yes. It uses a lethal combination that blasterates the germs and bacteria in 20 seconds flat. Those special ingredients that blasterate the G's and the B's, that's the germs and bacteria, are these little babies here. Amazing, isn't it, that something as simple as soap and water can help prevent you from getting things like colds and tummy bugs, diarrhea and all sorts of nasties. But it's true. OK, while we're talking about washing your hands, I'm not talking about a wee flick underneath the water. Oh, no. I'm talking about a high-tech GB Blasterator wash of 10 seconds. Now, stand back and let me show you how it's done. And remember, folks, do try this at home. Don't leave it to the experts. The trick is in the rubbing, the friction. Give them a good rinse off. And then give them a blaster dry of 10 seconds. There, my hands have been blasterated free of bacteria. <laughs> Oh, so that's why I need to wash my hands after I've been to the loo. Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? No wonder you didn't want me passing you that biscuit with my hands like that. Yuck! Maybe you've got some questions that you'd like answered. You can write to us at Susie's World, P.O. Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland. Or head to the website www.susie.co.nz. Don't you do some investigation about germs? Or give your hands a GB blasterator 10 second wash, 10 second dry. Nice clean hand, nice fresh biscuit. Wash your hands first. See you next time. Kakite. Eating for a warm, wet, healthy body like yours. I'm going to do it. Buy it! Very nice though. Can I have to stop now? I have to eat it. This program was made with funding from New Zealand on air.